hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys three ways in which you can use rice or rice water to double hair growth and prevent hair breakage grow your hair faster and grow back your edges i'm also going to be showing you guys how to increase its benefits by incorporating other natural ingredients to maximize its benefits and boost hair growth with consistency at applying it to your hair whatever method you decide to use i guarantee you you will see a massive result only if you're consistent so i would suggest you should watch this video to the end so you don't miss any useful information so if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it so the first method is hair growth treatment or hair mask so to make this hair growth treatment you're going to need rice i'm going to be adding one cup of rice to a bowl then i'm going to go ahead and add water and rinse off the rice so make sure to rinse the rice before applying it to your hair after washing the rice i transfer it to the pots then i'm going to go ahead and add one cup of water I transferred the pot to the cooker. I'm going to allow it to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next ingredient. The second ingredient you're going to be needing is aloe vera leaves. So I went ahead and removed the gel from the aloe vera leaves. So if you notice, whenever you apply fresh aloe vera to your scalp and your scalp is itchy, you need to soak the aloe vera for one hour before applying it to your scalp because aloe vera contain latex which can cause scalp irritation so always make sure you soak your aloe vera for one hour before applying it to your hair aloe vera is amazing at stimulating hair growth and it increase blood circulation which promote hair growth as well Once I'm done removing the aloe vera gel, this is how it looks like. Then I went ahead and transferred it to the blender. Aloe vera is becoming one of my favorite natural ingredient to use for hair growth. Now I'm going to blend the aloe vera for a few minutes. After blending, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and strain the aloe vera. So use whatever you have to strain the aloe vera out. Don't skip this process or you're going to have this in your hair. Trust me guys, you don't want to miss this step or you're going to have this in your hair. So this is how the aloe vera juice looks like once I'm done straining it out. So I'm going to move the aloe vera juice aside and I'm going to check if my rice is cooked. So it's been about 20 minutes and the rice is cooked, okay? As you can see, make sure your rice is cooked or it's going to be difficult for you to blend it, okay? I allowed the rice to cool down for a few minutes, then I went ahead and transferred it to the blender. If you're still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel as i said before in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up i also went ahead and add the aloe vera juice that was strain out earlier on to the blender as well then I cover the blender and blend the ingredient together. So the blender that I was using wasn't strong enough, okay? So I transfer it to my um, Ninja blender so that I can have a really smooth consistency. I'm going to blend the ingredient for 15 to 20 minutes because I need the rice to be really smooth because we are not going to strain it out, okay? And you don't want any flakes in your hair. After 20 minutes, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and transferred it to a bowl. 
so what i love about this treatment is that it has a lot of sleep due to the aloe vera juice that we added earlier on this treatment is one of my favorite deep conditioner treatment i have ever used it's really amazing guys you guys need to try it out and give me your feedback i'm sure you guys will love it I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of almond oil, one tablespoon of my DIY rice oil. I'm also going to be adding two tablespoons of orange and cloves oil as well. So if you're interested on how I made this egg roll oil, do check out my channel. So I realized that the bowl that I was using was too small. So I just went ahead and transferred it to a bigger bowl. I'm also going to be adding few drops of rosemary essential oil. So guys, please always use whatever oil that works for you. So if I'm using almond oil and almond oil is not good for you, please do not use it. Don't be afraid to remove whatever that does not work for you. So if you have high porosity hair, you need to use oil that is thick in consistency, oil such as olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, castor oil or shea butter and if you have low porosity hair you need to consider using oil such as almond oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil and sunflower seed oil. I usually mix low porosity and high porosity oil together for my kids hair and it works well for them. So please just use whatever works for you. As I said before, don't be afraid to subtract whatever that doesn't work for you. Add whatever oil that works for your hair type, okay? I went ahead and mixed all the ingredients together. This is how the hair growth treatment looks like. So always make sure to apply this treatment to freshly shampooed hair. To apply this treatment, I start off by parting the hair in four sections. I focus on one section at a time. I spray water to that section so that the treatment can penetrate into the hair strands. Then I went ahead and applied the treatment from the scalp to the ends. I used my fingers to detangle that section. Rice is amazing at strengthening your hair. It stimulates hair growth. It stops hair fall. It reduces hair loss. It repairs damaged hair. It also adds shine to your hair as well. You can use white rice, brown rice, or black rice. It all depends on preference. You can apply this treatment every two weeks or once a month. My daughter has a low porosity hair, so I apply this treatment to her hair once a month because low porosity hair is known as protein sensitive and rice contain a lot of protein. My youngest daughter hair is high porosity hair, so I apply this treatment to her hair every two weeks so i would suggest if you have low porosity hair apply this treatment to your hair once a month and if you have high porosity hair apply this treatment to your hair every two weeks so basically i repeat the same process until the hair is fully covered with the treatment i start off by spraying that section with water i finger detangled i apply the treatment from scalp to ends, make sure you apply it to your scalp because our hair grows from the scalp and also don't forget to apply it to your ends as well. Our ends are the oldest part, so they need love and care. So always make sure to apply it to your ends as well. 
what i also love about this treatment is that if you naturally has curls this treatment will definitely define your curls even more she naturally has a very um loose curls and anytime i apply this treatment to her hair game over when it comes to the curls this treatment is going to make your curls be popping okay your curls are going to be popping i'm telling you guys this treatment is the bomb.com so if you naturally have curls it's going to definitely define your curls even more if you don't have fresh aloe vera leaves you can also use aloe vera juice you can purchase your aloe vera juice from amazon so remember do not forget to apply this treatment to freshly shampooed hair okay i always suggest anytime you are applying treatment to your hair always apply it to freshly shampooed hair once i'm done with that section i put it in twist then i move on to the edges always make sure to apply treatment to your edges as well our edges are prone to breakage so please always apply treatment to your edges as well so i'm going to allow the treatment to sit for 45 minutes after 45 minutes you can go ahead and proceed with your wash day so that is the first method done now i'm going to move on to the second method so the second method is hair growth spray treatment so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need your rice you can use white rice brown rice or you can also use black rice as well so just use any rice that you have i'm going to go ahead and use half cup of white rice so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a bowl. Then I'm going to go ahead and wash my rice. So make sure to wash your rice before applying it to your hair. So just to remove any impurity from the rice. So make sure you briefly wash your rice, okay? Uh, we need the um, starchy, white, creamy water to make this hair growth spray. So as you guys can see, the rice water is very milky white in color that's what we're going to use for today's hair growth spray now i'm going to go ahead and transfer my rice into the mason jar so as i mentioned before i'm going to incorporate rice with other amazing natural ingredients in today's video so our next ingredient is cloves I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of cloves into the mason jar as well. Cloves is very extremely powerful, so a little will go a long way. Once I'm done adding my cloves, I went ahead and add one cup of water into the mason jar, then I mix together, then I cover the mason jar. So this is how it looks like. Now I'm just going to go ahead and transfer it to a pot of a boiling water. This method is called the double boiler method. I'm going to allow it to sit in the boiling water for about 30 minutes on a low heat. In the meantime, I'm going to briefly explain the benefit of cloves and rice. After 30 minutes, this is how it looks like. As you guys can see, the color has changed, which means that the cloves has infused into the water properly. Now I'm just going to go ahead and strain it out. So you don't have to throw away the leftover. You can also use it as a hair mask or you can also use it as a hair growth oil as well. So do not throw it away. Just allow the water to dry. Then you can make your hair mask or your hair growth oil with it so guys if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel do consider subscribing to my channel in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up once i'm done this is how it looks like i love the color the color is everything super effective hair growth treatment if you want to strengthen your hair look no further this hair growth treatment 
is definitely for you so this is the time to add your essential oil if you're a big fan of essential oil you can go ahead and add any essential oil of your choice you can add rosemary essential oil lavender tea tree essential oil cloves or you can also add peppermint essential oil so just add whatever that works best for you i went ahead and transferred it to my applicator bottle for easy application you can use this treatment twice a week so when applying this treatment to your hair make sure you focus on the scalp okay then apply it to your entire hair as well so don't forget to massage your scalp for about five to ten minutes as this helps to promote and boost hair growth after four hours go ahead and wash it off with your conditioner so after washing the hair growth spray out don't forget to also apply your hair bottom or your favorite leave-in conditioner you can store this treatment in the fridge for up to seven days so that's the second method done moving on to the final method our third method is hair growth oil so the only ingredient you're going to need for today's hair growth treatment is black rice so you're not going to need any other ingredient okay apart from the oil that we're going to use to infuse the rice you're not going to need any other ingredient okay so this is the only ingredient you're going to need so i got this black rice from my local store you can also purchase it from amazon so i went ahead and measured the amount i need so measurement depends on the amount you want to make so i went ahead and rinsed the black rice make sure to rinse it very well to remove any impurity because we are going to be applying it to our scalp and our hair so make sure you rinse it out very well once I'm done rinsing it out, then I'm going to go ahead and add it to the pan. Then I'm going to transfer it to the cooker. So make sure your cooker is on the lowest heat possible because you don't want your black rice to burn. So the reason why we are doing this is to dry it up. So remember we washed the rice earlier on, okay? So we need to be able to dry the rice so that the blending process can be easy. So make sure you stir it because you don't want it to burn. I'm going to go ahead and fry it for about two minutes. Make sure the water is completely dry, okay? So make sure the cooker is on the lowest heat. Once the water is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and add the black rice into the blender. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend it. Black rice is beneficial for healthy hair growth. It helps to hydrate hair follicles and provide essential nutrients that helps to repair split ends and brutal hair. Most importantly, it helps to prevent hair loss, strengthen the hair follicles and condition the scalp and also the hair strand, which lead to promoting hair growth. Black rice is also amazing when it comes to adding volume to your hair. So if you're struggling from thinning hair, hair breakage, I would suggest you should give this oil a go because it will stop hair breakage and it will help to increase your hair volume. So guys, if you're still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up applying this to your hair on a daily basis, you will be able to retain length because your hair would not break or shed once i'm done blending the black rice this is how it looks like now i'm going to go ahead and add one cup of olive oil into the bowl i'm also going to be adding almond oil as well you can use any oil of your choice use whatever works for you I'm also going to be adding two tablespoons of Jamaican black castor oil. If you don't like Jamaican black castor oil, it's fine. You can just add any hair growth oil that you like. Once I'm done mixing all my chosen oil, I went ahead and add the blended black rice into the bowl as well. So like I said before, the measurement depends on the amount you're making. So if you're trying to make a small amount, obviously you're going to add small oil and if you want a lot of oil then you know your oil should be a lot after mixing the oil and the black rice together then i went ahead and placed the bowl 
in a pot of hot water. This method is called the double boiler method. So I'm going to allow it to boil for about 25 minutes. You can also do the 24 hours infusion, okay? So basically what you need to do is add all your ingredients, which are your oil and your black rice into an empty jar, okay? Then you're going to close the jar and place it in a dark corner for 24 hours or longer. It all depends on preference. After 24 hours, you're going to go ahead and strain it out add any essential oil of your choice then your oil is ready to be used after 25 minutes this is how it looks like now i'm going to go ahead and strain out the black rice from the oil So make sure not to throw away your black rice okay so what i usually do is i put the black rice in empty container okay then i go ahead and add any of my chosen oil then i infuse it for 24 hours okay you can still go ahead and infuse this black rice okay so do not chuck it away just add any of your chosen oil and infuse it for 24 hours or longer so with this oil, you can apply it directly to your scalp. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to my applicator bottle and I'm going to show you guys how to apply it to your hair. So this is what the hair looks like. I was trying to wash the hair yesterday and she wasn't having any of it. So I just left it because to be honest i couldn't be bothered so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to apply my diy clove hair butter to the entire hair then i'm going to go ahead and add the black rice oil to a scalp and a hair strand as well if you don't have this clove butter you can go ahead and use your favorite leave-in or conditioner okay just basically use anything you use to soften your hair because using only oil to moisturize your hair will only dry out your hair so in order to avoid your hair getting dry make sure anytime you apply oil to your hair always apply your leave-in or your conditioner or as I said before, apply anything that you use to make your hair softer. After applying the black rice oil, I went ahead and massaged the scalp. Scalp massage helps to promote hair growth. So as I said before, this treatment is amazing, okay? If you're suffering from hair thinning, hair breakage, this oil is for you. This black rice oil stop hair breakage and increase hair volume like never before. Only if you're consistent at applying it to your hair. Some people's hair takes longer to grow and some grow really fast, okay? If you notice that your hair takes longer to grow, don't be discouraged. Continue to apply whatever treatment that works for you. What you guys need to understand when it comes to hair growth is that there are different factors that you need to consider, okay? For example, our genetics has a major impact on how fast our hair grows, okay? Your stress level can play a major part in your hair breaking, shedding, and not growing. Are you eating the right food that contain vitamins and nutrients that will help your hair to grow? All these are major factors in which you need to consider when we're talking about hair growth. So don't be discouraged if your hair is not growing as quickly as you want it. Continue to apply whatever treatment that works for you, okay? The only thing you can do is be consistent, okay? Consistency is what will get you the growth, the length that you're looking for. Trust me, guys, your hair will definitely grow. I'm also going to apply this oil to the edges, the crown section, and the back of the hair. Anytime you make a treatment, always apply it to your edges, your crown section, and the back of your hair. Your edges need that treatment more because it's prone to breakage because we tend to put so much pressure on our edges, especially when we have protective styles such as box braid, Ghana braid, cornrow, or adding extensions to our hair. 
what i love about this oil is that i love the fact that the oil adds shine to your hair it stops hair dryness we all know when your hair is dry it can lead to hair breakage it's amazing as scalp condition such as itchy scalp and dandruffs so guys this is what i have been using on my girl's hair all natural ingredients and i have been seeing amazing results so as i said before if you're consistent you will definitely see an amazing result as well so guys we have come to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up Comment in the comment section if you have any question for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye.